Hi everyone, it's MJ, the fellow actuary, and what you're looking at could very well be the future of actuarial exams in this age of AI. So we've all seen videos where people can take the actuarial exams, put it into ChatGPT, and then, you know, the large language model is able to answer a lot better than the average student, which means examiners are now in a situation where it's like, okay, how do we test knowledge where it's so easy for you know the students to cheat or to get these answers and things like that. And that's where I think this little game that you see on the screen might very well be the answer. So what is essentially happening is you've got this grid and you can build little houses which will generate gold, uh, you can build little farms that will generate food, and you can get forestries that will generate wood, and you need each material in order to build the other things. Uh, there's also banks and granaries and warehouses to increase your storage limit. But what makes it more than just a normal typical game is the fact that you have these timers. So every 20 seconds, one of the grid things catch on fire and it gets burnt, and every minute, in fact, we're gonna see it now, in eight seconds, um, a flood is gonna come in and it's gonna wipe out an entire row of our building. So it's happening, boom, we actually just lost four of these things right here, right now. So, you know, things are getting destroyed. So you might be saying, wait, how is this an exam question? Well, what essentially we're seeing is how would the student be able to manage the risk of both the fire and the water without, let's say, insurance. And of course, we're going to see that one of the things to do is essentially, you know, build your various buildings, not all on the same line, to try and reduce the severity of the flood impact. And when you start playing the game, you realize that the fire also has a chance of catching a light, the, the buildings next to it as well. So you also want to kind of build in a way that nothing is next to each other in the beginning. Like, of course, once you start losing space, you want to make sure that you start getting these things up. And of course, you also don't want to group various resources together. You know, diversification is, I don't want to make this an actuarial lecture, but you can see that there's a lot of things that can be tested and teased out through a game and you might be saying but oh gosh you know building this game is going to take you know a lot of time and in fact it's not it, it was it was barely an inconvenience thanks to gemini's latest thing where essentially you put in a prompt and poof out pops these games now of course you know it wasn't i mean if we come back to the the game that we're playing uh you can see in the url that this is code version number 37. So in fact, I'll actually show you how we got into this whole thing. So one of the first ones I did, so this is code without anything, is I saw someone make a Pokedex just with a bit of a prompt. And so I thought, okay, that's pretty cool. We replicated that, um, then decided to change it from you know the, the icons of the Pokemon to various cards. And then I thought, you know what, you could actually play quite a cool game when it comes to these base stats. So imagine if these stats were hidden and we had a situation where you were shown two cards and then it randomly picked one of the attributes. It says, which Pokemon has the higher defense? I think it's executed here. Let's check, oh, correct, next round. Which Pokemon has the highest special attack? I mean, Charizard, it has to be Charizard. Even though I think Clefairy's got quite a high special attack, I think it's Charizard. There we go, I mean, 109, crazy. Which one's got the highest speed? I mean, Kakuna, I don't think moves, so. How, how you can see my record is 10 i'm getting quite ex excited defense victory bell oh no ah oh. Oh, okay it turns out i mean it was close 65 to 70 um stage two anyway getting distracted but i think this is the beautiful thing with with ai is you just think of something and boom you know you put it down there so i was like wait but this is now testing my pokemon knowledge could we create something to test actuarial knowledge and i mean i kind of started with something you know, this little bit of a grid thing where you click it and just something kind of happens. And then I was like, well, instead of it just having different colors that, that pop up, maybe we can have something a little bit more, more interesting. And I guess at the same time, I was also making a statistical distribution and copula visualizer. So here it's like a little bit of a distribution. You can see that, you know, when we increase the standard deviation, it flattens the curve. 
when we reduce it, you know, it makes it a little bit more narrow. And I made it so that you can choose, you know, all the different distributions. We've got exponential. You can see like how it kind of changes and the moments on the side there. But then we even went copulous. We were like, man, let's like, let's not mess around. This was pretty cool. I mean, when I was at university, it was literally, I don't even know what it's called, that, what it's a projector. And it was like that little uh, see-through piece of paper uh, kind of thing. And we just had to imagine what a copula looked like because we'd get a very static image of it. Where here, we can start changing some of the parameters and we can actually see how the shape of these complex distributions actually change while seeing all you know the relevant information that needs to come onto it so i was thinking oh we're playing games and we can use ai to also help us learn what if we could use ai as an exam so imagine sitting down in the future and this is the exam that you're presented with so you actually have to come in here you know use your reading time to say okay cool um a hut cost 50 wood to build it's going to create one gold per second it's going to cost 500 to upgrade from level one to level two and then you're going to look at that and you have to think okay is it worth investing what is going to be you know the the return on my investment will at the same time factoring the risk of the fire and the flood as well as looking at all of these storage things and so the exam would very much be like okay does the student put everything in like let's say one little row like this which we're going to see is the wrong thing to do in in 30 seconds you don't want to put every it's like putting all your eggs in in one basket you know are they doing something like that which like i said probably going to get wiped out if that row ever happens or is the student going to come in and actually start building their city in such a way that they are limiting the severity of of the risk and it's kind of like okay this student is showing us that they have some risk management because like you say if the flood comes in and it goes on the diagonal see how it only takes out one where by building it all on one row we could have lost absolutely everything and then your exam mark would not be oh did you get the answer right or wrong your exam mark will determine on you know what was the high score that you got by playing the game that your lecturer came up with and because it's so easy i mean like i say you literally create a couple of prompts you put it in and you've got this game each exam for each subject could be a different game so we could get to a situation where we're learning with ai by creating these various different visualizers and we're also getting tested with ai in the form of new and exciting ways so imagine like i say playing a game instead of having to write an exam and i think that is how we are going to be tested in the future when ai you know keeps improving so yeah i'm gonna say i'm a little a little bit envious because i used to hate writing exams playing a game sounds like a lot more more fun although it'll be a lot more stressful because you're literally going into the exam not knowing what could could happen but anyway I just wanted to share that with you guys. Let me know your thoughts down below on how you think the actuarial exams are going to change now that we're almost yeah, fully fledged in the era of artificial intelligence. As always, keep well. Cheers. Oh, 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 oh. Gosh, it's not a YouTube video unless like there's like an ad or a promotion or something. So let me promote myself. And that is check out my latest album, which was also made using AI. So you can come check this out as well as a million other albums that I have made. So yeah, uh, latest album that's just come out. It's got a bit of like a Post Malone, um, you know, Kid Larry. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that guy's name properly, but that kind of vibe, sad boy, emo rap. So check it out. It's on Spotify. It's on Apple Music. It's on YouTube. Uh, so yeah, check out the latest album. And that is just the little, the little ad on the YouTube video. Anyway, now I can say goodbye for real, and I'll see you guys soon. Cheers.